Howdy guys, Tom Quayle here. Hope you're all doing very, very well and keeping warm in this very cold weather where none of us can afford to turn our heating on. It's flipping freezing here. Today I am checking out a brand new product from the guys at Exonic. Actually one of my favourite companies. These guys make some really, really cool products that I use on a regular basis in my studio here. This is the Airstep Play. Now, if you've seen my video on the Airstep, which I actually have down here, this awesome controller, Mine is looking a little bit like it's been used a lot because it has, it's used all the time in my studio. This is the original air stub that they released. Um, I think they call it the multi-controller now because this basically is their flagship device. It weighs a lot more than the air step play. And this controls pretty much any musical device that's in my studio. So I use it specifically for videos like this. Now I'm not using it right now because I wanted to show it to you, but I use it on the floor for controlling my DAW, Studio One behind me wirelessly for doing recordings like this. Cause as you can see, I'm sat quite a long way from it. This enables me to launch and you know, any of the features of the DAW as I want to when I'm recording videos like this or when I'm playing guitar and I need to record to camera. Uh, I also use it via the MIDI out to control my amp switcher, my KHG amp switcher over there, when I'm not using it for DAW purposes. And that means I don't have to go to the amp switcher to change the amps and cabs, so on and so forth. So it's a really, really useful tool. I'll link my video down below so you guys can check this out. Another great product that I use all the time, again, that I have a video on my YouTube channel of, is their X-Tone Pro audio interface. These audio interfaces are fantastic for iOS and Android and audio interfaces for mobile devices are a real minefield. And this is actually the one that we recommend along with its smaller brother, the standard X-Tone, not the Pro, for Solo, the app that David Beebe and I produced. We actually recommend these because they're so solid with iOS and Android devices. They're made for guitar and they don't have any issues at all. And both of these products, the Airstep and the X-Tone and the X-Tone Pro are really well built out of, I think it's aluminium really solid components, they work really, really well. And in this case, the Airstep Play is no different. This is, again, same form factor and design as the Airstep. But the Play bit on here, and the lack of kind of, you know, the crazy connectivity of the standard Airstep multi-controller is because this one is designed primarily for one purpose, which is to control by your feet and wirelessly video playback on your mobile device or on your PC or Mac. And that's really useful for doing things like YouTube videos where you want to actually learn guitar or learn anything basically and control it from your feet, particularly for guitar players and musicians generally, keyboard players, any, any musician really, because your hands are tied up playing guitar. And this concept basically is that you're, you know, untying your hands, you're freeing your hands, and therefore your kind of mind, as X-Tone say, when, sorry, X-Sonic say, when they're um, talking about this product, in order to concentrate purely on playing and learning and practicing, as opposed to worrying about taking your hands off the guitar, the keyboard, whatever your instrument. Now, there's five buttons on here, just like the standard air step. They have primary functions, which are a single tap, or a single push. They have secondary and tertiary functions, which enable you to get multiple uses out of long presses, short presses, and uh, pressing multiple buttons together, basically. On the back, you'll see a little Bluetooth aerial, okay? Connects via Bluetooth to any device. Switch on there for turning the device on. You can see the eye lights up to show you that it's actually on. And then you've got this function switch, which is really designed for doing things like firmware updates via the um, Airstep Updater app, which you can download onto your phone or whatever mobile device you're using. And that's it, basically. There's a nine volt input on there so that you can actually charge it up via the included USB to nine volt um, barrel uh, connector, which comes with the device. It also comes with a bunch of stickers that you can actually label up and put on the front if you want to sort of label the foot switches. Uh, but it's actually pretty straightforward to use, to be honest. And again, the way it works is you download the Airstep Play app, which I have loaded up here, and it just looks like a YouTube app to start with. So if I just come out of here, we've got the Airstep Play app here. Download it for free from the App Store. Again, whether that's Google or whether that's you know, the Android Play Store or whether that's the iOS Store. Obviously, I'm on an iPad Pro here. And then it loads into YouTube and you can sign in or not if you don't want to. Um, I've signed in, so I get all of my video recommendations, so on and so forth. But yeah, you sign in and then basically it just works as a YouTube browser. And the idea is that you connect the Airstep Play via Bluetooth and there's a really easy way to do that, which I'll show you in a second. And that enables you to control all the videos from your feet, basically. And there's a lot of functionality in there as well. More than I've seen with quite a few other devices that do sort of similar things to this, which is cool. And the form factor is very nice as well. It's not heavy at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn it on. And again, if I just show it to this camera here, if I just point here so it's in focus, there's the on switch, turn it on, and you will see on the iPad, it's gonna tell me it's connected. 
So if I turn it on here, it's going to say to me, um, there we go, just flashed up really, really quickly saying it connected. Now, if this is the first time you've connected this device, what you would do is in this app here, which again, just looks like a YouTube browser, you'll see this little icon here, which kind of looks like an infinity icon. It's the Air Step Play app icon, tap on it. And this will take you to the main functionality screen of this app. This is what's unique about this app as compared to just obviously using YouTube. Now I should mention, if you're not using a mobile device, you're using a Mac or a PC, this acts as an extension for Chrome. So you can't use this as a standalone app on a Mac or a PC. You have to use it as an extension of Chrome. Now that's fine because my browser of choice is Chrome anyway. I like to use Chrome. If, but if you're using Safari or if you're using on a PC, if you're using Microsoft Edge, for example, or God forbid, Internet Explorer, don't know why you'd still be using that, um, or, most, or Firefox, for example, it's not gonna work. You need to use Chrome to do this because it installs as an extension within Chrome. But what you'll find in Chrome, and I'll show you this later on, is this little icon in the bottom right-hand corner of the browser. Whenever you go into any video site, Vimeo, YouTube, um, Facebook, anything that plays back video will work with this app because the extension in Chrome knows that you're playing video back. And again, you can utilize all of the functions. In fact, there's a, there's a couple more functions. Um, it works a little bit better within Chrome than on the mobile device, but you're only losing a couple of functions, which I'll show you later on when you use the mobile app. But obviously this is way more convenient. So first thing you'd want to do if it wasn't connected, which it won't be the first time you turn it on, is load up the app, tap on the icon down there, and you'll see this foot icon down here. So we tap on that, and then you would click here where it says connected, it'll say connect. And when you tap on there, what it's gonna do is show you the Air Step Play device, just tap on it, and it will connect. Now I've got auto connect turned on, so it obviously every time I switch the device on, it will auto connect. Now you might want that turned off if you want to connect it to multiple devices. So we're already connected and you can see it's showing me the amount of battery and the firmware that I'm on. And then it's gonna show you some of the functionality of what the Air Step does. So short presses, just a single press. Let's point it at this camera here. We've got play and pause, okay? Forward and backwards. So if you tap them once, it's gonna go forwards two seconds or back two seconds. Tap this one, we'll go all the way back to the beginning of the video. And then tap this one and we can set loop points which will allow us to cycle round a certain amount of video and we can set those ourselves. So tap it once to set the A point, tap it again to set the B point, and tap it a final third time to delete the loop. And then long presses, hold down the middle button and it will turn that panel on and off. I'll demonstrate that in a second. We've got continuous fast forward, continuous rewind, turning the loop on and off, and then down here we've also got a metronome function. Now in iOS, I don't know about Android, I don't have a single Android device in this house, but in iOS, when you turn the metronome on, it will stop the video from playing. On a, in Chrome, on a Mac and a PC, that's not the case. It will actually continue to play the video while you use the metronome. Little detail to be aware of there. Hopefully they can fix that in a future firmware update. I don't know if that's intentional or not, I'm assuming it's not. And then we've got the multi-press functionality. So press these two together to increase the speed of the video. Press these two down to decrease the speed of the video. And then basically the, um, these two switches here will allow you to fast forward a certain set amount of time. Um, and that can be set, if we come out of here, the settings button here, you've got some options as to what you want to do with fast forward and rewind. So just finger touches two seconds, you can set the foot controller press to be a different amount of time, one second, two seconds, five seconds, 10 seconds. In terms of jumping forwards and backwards in the video, and then for the foot control and multipress, we're on the longest, which is 10 seconds. So that's quite nice, really, really nice. Um, got a couple of options there as well in terms of you know, the user manual, that kind of thing. And then on here, we can actually tap this kind of burger style icon to load online videos via YouTube. If we tap on that, obviously we've got all of these different options as well. So YouTube, Fender Play, True Fire, Jam Play, Guitar Tricks, so all the big lesson sites are actually integrated in this as well. Udemy, explore more, local video, local music, my favorites and my loops, and we'll get into those shortly. But now that we've got YouTube loaded up, I've got one of my videos from my YouTube channel, my favorite legato technique, this palm muted stuff, just to show you some of the functionality. Now, obviously you would do this with your feet, but I want to be able to show you both things at the same time. So um, I've not positioned it on the floor and I haven't got a guitar in my hands, but obviously you would be doing this with your feet. Press the middle button, and 
and it's going to play. Okay, press this button, it's going to rewind to the beginning. Now I'll press play again. And it's instantaneous, as you can see. It's really, really fast and you know feels very good to use. And I can fast forward. So if I press this button, you can see down in the timeline here, we're actually fast forwarding at this point. Okay, so I could press play here. For the response to the last video I did. Uh, that... Okay, so let's go back to the beginning. What I'm gonna do now is set an A and a B loop point. And of course, that's just done with this button here, pressing it a single time. So if I was to press play, and I'm gonna fairly quickly do the loop to capture some of this muted legato at the beginning. Let's say I wanted to learn some of this muted legato. So you can see here, it's now set an A and a B loop point. So now when I press play, it's gonna cycle between those two points. Really, really cool. Now there's a bit more to this as well because now I've set that cycle point. Remember, if I press these two buttons together, it's gonna to slow it down. So if you keep an eye on the time here, see I'm slowing that down now. We're at, let's go to 0.6 in terms of the speed and press play. We can keep going. Seriously cool stuff. Now, now I've set that loop point, let's speed it back up again. So again, these two buttons just here, let's press them together. And again, you could do this with your feet much more easily. Let's go back up to one. And what I wanna do is save that loop point. Now, this is not only gonna save that loop point, it's gonna save that specific video with that specific loop point so I can come back to it later. And the way I would do that is just tapping this icon just here. Now it's gonna save the title. You could type whatever you wanted into there. Let's just use the default title. So it's telling me the video and it's telling me all the details. Press store. Now at any point now I can come in and I can open up my um, folder of all of my loops. And I've stored two different loops here. The one I just stored and one I stored earlier. So let's go to the other loop that I stored. Okay, tap to unmute the video. So you could build up a catalog of things that you wanted to learn, change the speed, you know, use those loops as you want basically, and they're gonna be stored as the loop and the actual video. So let's say I want to load up the other loop now. Come in here, load up my favorite legato technique. Tap to unmute. There it is, stored. Absolutely fantastic. Really, really cool, useful feature. Now, the other thing that's on here that you can't currently use in the iOS and Android version, but you can use in the Chrome version, so I'll show you that shortly, is the transpose functionality. Not so useful for this video, but really useful for backing tracks if you want to load up a backing track and then change the key. Unfortunately, at the moment in iOS and Android, it's not working, but that is coming with a future firmware update. Okay, so again, just to reiterate this as well, any point if I want to get rid of that panel, I can do so just by holding down that middle button. Okay. There we go. You'll have to excuse my recommendation of true crime YouTube videos. I'm obsessed. Guitar videos and YouTube videos, uh, sorry, true crime videos. So there we can bring that panel in and out. Really, really nice. Now, again, we also learned that if we hold this button down, we get the metronome. So that would be really useful if you are, say for instance, learning a lick like this one at the beginning. If I slow this lick right down, press play. Hold the button down to turn the metronome on. And then you could practice with the metronome. Now, of course, you can always come in and change the speed of the metronome. There's a tap tempo function on there and press play. slower metronome, turn it off by holding the button down. But as I mentioned in iOS and probably Android as well, at the moment, pressing play on the video will cancel the metronome and vice versa. Whereas 
that doesn't happen in the Chrome version, as I'll show you shortly. Now, again, if I come in here and I say, okay, well, what I want to do this time is I don't want to load up a YouTube video or any kind of video. I want to load up some music, go to local music. I've just got a single out. I don't use my iPad for listening to music, but I've got a single album stored on here. And there just happens to be an album that I'm featured on as well. So let's load that up. Now, in this instance, this could be really useful again for transcribing solos. So if we go to around this point, There I am doing some silly legato stuff. This is a good buddy of mine, Daniel Serif's amazing album, so check him out online. Um, if I go back a little bit, let's set a loop point. So we've got our loop point there. Let's slow this down now. Super useful for being able to transcribe material that you want to be able to transcribe in your music collection. So very, very cool indeed. And again, if I want to load local video material, let's go to down here. I've got, I believe Instagram is somewhere. There it is. So these are all the Instagram videos I've ever uploaded to Instagram stored on my iPhone, uh, my iPad, sorry. So I could load any of these up and it will load up into the player here and I can start to, you know, figure out what I'm playing. Same functionality. Change the... Really, really useful. Very, very cool indeed to be able to do that. And again, all of this feature in terms of being able to store, for example, my A and B loop points. Let's now store that as a loop. Okay, and now if I go in, I can load up. Let's go back to that. Oops, excuse my notifications going off. There we go, there's the loop that we created before. Let's load up that Instagram one. There we go. So a whole catalog of things that you can start to build up to practice. Very, very cool indeed. So now that you've seen that, let's go over to Chrome and I'll show you First of all, how you would install the, um, the extension. And then secondly, just a couple of features that work a little bit differently within Chrome in terms of connection and in terms of how you actually utilize some of the features that don't work on the mobile version just yet. Okay guys, so I've got the AirStep Play set up on my desk here. Obviously normally this would be on the floor so you can control it with your feet, but this makes it easier to film. And as you can see, I'm using my PC here and I'm in Chrome. Now, the way to get the AirStep Play extension installed via Chrome is to go to xsonicaudio.com, and then obviously this allows you to go to the AirStep and then AirStep Play. If you scroll down with it telling you what it actually does and how it works, links to the iOS, Android, and Chrome version. Now, obviously for iOS and Android, you would actually use the app stores built into your device. But if I click on Chrome here, this is going to load up the Chrome Web Store, and there's the extension for AirStep Play, and you would have a little install button just here, which would install it for you. You're not going to see anything straight away. It's just going to appear in the background, and if I go to YouTube, or in fact any site which is compatible with the AirStep Play um, extension, down in the bottom right here, you'll see the same AirStep icon that we or AirStep Play icon that we saw in the iOS version. Tap on that there's the same functionality. In this case, everything's the same except the semitone transposition now works, and our metronome is not going to stop us from playing back the video. So if I was to go to my videos here and load up that exact same video that we did before, which was the muted legato one, there it is. Tap on this. So it's pretty clean. It's you can hear that's playing back. Let's go and press uh, this button, and nothing's gonna happen because I was previously connected to my iPad, so I need to connect. So if you remember, the way this works is we tap on this foot icon here, and it says not connected on the Bluetooth icon here. We do not need to go into the Bluetooth settings of our Mac or PC. Tap on this, and it just says connect. Click on connect. You can see this is loaded up in a separate tab. There's our step play. Tap on it, pair, 
and it says, it's connected, it says disconnect if you want to, but closing or refreshing this tab will disconnect. So don't close this tab. In fact, a good thing to do is to take it and just minimize it. And again, we've got connected and then the firmware version and our battery indicator and all of the instructions. You can see the eye is fully lit. So if I wanted to rewind from here, now go back to Chrome, press rewind. So there we go, we've rewound. Now, again, same functionality works if I wanted to use the loop, for example. You can see currently the loop is actually turned off. So I hold this button down, turn the loop on, and now I can set the same loop point. So press play. Simple as that. And again, store that loop if I wanted to. And then there it is stored. Really, really simple. A little extra functionality they've got here is the ability to favorite things as well. So this video is now favorited. So if I come into the menu here and go to my favorites, there it is stored as a favorite, which is quite nice alongside my loops. Okay, now let me show you the transpose functionality as well. So this is quite useful for backing tracks, for example. So I've gone back to my channel here. Still got this open. Again, I can do that from here. I'm gonna load this funky minor blues backing track. Okay, this track is in A minor. Let's transpose it up a semitone using the panel here. Okay, and then press play again, which again I could do from the device itself. And there we go, it's in B flat minor. Now, of course, I did mention that you can also utilize this with other websites. So let's have a quick look at that now as well. So now I'm in Udemy, the website Udemy here, and I've got this piano course, quite a basic piano course on comping chords. And again, same functionality works. You can see the icon is down here. This will only appear when you're on a site that's compatible with the extension in the AirPlay. Press play. Let's progress a bit. So you All working perfectly. Let's progress. If I load up the actual, um, If I load up the actual extension here, I can see all the controls again. Now the only things that won't work is if the site has a custom playback rate function here, that's gonna take precedence over the playback rate within the app here, so you have that functionality somewhere else. But everything else is gonna work. I can set loop points, I've got that set here. Again, I can store that loop if I want to and come back to it at a later point, just by opening it up. Really, really useful. All right, guys, so there we go. That is the AirStep Play from the guys at Xsonic. It's a great device, very affordable right now as well in the run-up to Christmas. They're doing a promotion. In the UK, this is £59 reduced from, I think, £109. Uh, that obviously will be reflected in your local currency because these guys ship worldwide. So click the link in the video description below to go over to their website and check out the entire range. They do some really, really great products at really great prices, and again, Super well built, really, really nice. If you enjoyed the video guys, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons below, that really, really helps me out. And of course, hit the bell notification icon if you want to be notified every time I upload new content. And if you really enjoyed the video and you want to support me in what I do, obviously check out the links below for all of my lesson content where you can learn the Gato technique, improvisation, harmony, all sorts of cool video lessons on there. So check those out, guys. Thank you all for your support and for watching. My name's Tom Quayle, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.